Another example, die Soldaten werden geflogen. The soldiers are being flown. Now, by whom are they being flown, right? <coughs> die modernen Flugzeuge, the modern airplanes. So they're being flown by modern airplanes. Let's see how that changes. Die Soldaten werden, okay, von, a preposition. Now, die Flugzeuge has to change to den because it's plural, remember? Plural, die, to den, all right? Von den, and now we have an adjective, modernen, and remember all the adjective endings in the dative, i.e. n, whether it's singular or plural. So, von den modernen, Flugzeuge is a noun, so it needs to add an n because it's dative plural. So, our whole phrase reads, von den modernen Flugzeugen, geflogen. So, here we go. Die Soldaten werden von den modernen Flugzeugen geflogen. And this is a dative plural with an adjective in it. So, von den modernen, i-n, Flugzeuge, i-n, Flugzeugen, geflogen. Let me do another one. Die Lebensmittel werden geschickt. The groceries are being sent. Now, by whom are they being sent? Deutschland. We are adding, are adding a country, okay. Die Lebensmittel werden von, by, Deutschland. Von Deutschland geschickt. Deutschland had no article, so we just add Deutschland. Von Deutschland. Now, if they were being sent by the USA, how would we say that? Remember the USR? We would say von. And USR is a plural, right? Den. We have to say den. USR. Geschickt. So, die Lebensmittel werden von den USA geschickt. That would be another example. Now, to close our lesson today, I gave you an active sentence. And here we are going to have a pronoun. The active sentence says, wir schreiben eine Karte. We are writing a card. Now, how do we make that passive? In the active sentence, we are in the middle. We are the center of attention, right? All right, but when we have a passive voice sentence, the card is going to be the center of attention. So that has to start our sentence out. A card is being sent by us. Let's see how that looks. Eine Karte is being sent, uh, is being written wird, because it's one card, by us. Do you remember the wir in the dative changed to uns? Wird von uns. And then the past participle, geschrieben. A card is being written by us. If I said it's being written by me, how would we say that? Do you remember? What does I change to in the dative? Mir, correct. So you could say von mir geschrieben. Eine Karte wird von mir geschrieben. Or how would you say a card is being written by him? You would say, von ihm. And if it's being written by them, von remembers, ihnen, that's right. So this is just a little review of the pronouns, the dative pronouns we learned a while ago. So, if we add <coughs> A person who does the action, who acts upon the thing or person that receives the action, then we have to say von. Von meaning by, it's a dative preposition, so all the endings need to change to dative endings. And, to go back to our original sentence, der Rasen wird, then we insert that phrase mentioning the person or thing, that does the action, and the last part of the sentence is the past participle, gemäht in this instance. So, der Rasen wird von dem Mann gemäht. So, remember, by whom? 
fun with the dative endings. <laughs>